Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. So yeah, we have a little bit more structure now in this in this move to the upside that started on the 16th of June. It's currently moving towards the resistance area here in this wave two and the pullback or the yeah the move down um, that happened today allowed me to add a little bit of a of a micro count here for the current pullback in this wave two talked in the previous video about the idea in previous videos that XRP topped here in a larger wave too. Let me actually, I think I need to change the wave degree now. Here in a larger wave too on the 13th of June, yeah, which in the top was at around 56 and a half cents. And then a wave three to the downside would be unfolding now in a five wave move. We had a wave one down, which can be counted as an impulse. We discussed it yesterday in, in this impulse. Wave one is a leading diagonal. It's not an ideal structure. I can tell you that. So take it a bit with a, with a pinch of salt um, because this move in a wave one was very, very long. Yeah, It's not invalid. It's fine. It's just not an ideal structure. But nevertheless, the move up looks corrective so far. I can count here a wave W. I can count the next wave and I would expect a Y wave next in wave two. If we zoom in a little bit, we can also see we had here a small A wave, a B wave and a C wave in wave W, which is the first wave of this correction. WXY is a more complex correction. The reason I'm going for WXY not ABC here is just simply because um, this hasn't come down deep enough for a flat pattern really. Yeah, so if we had a flat pattern, we also would have three waves in the first leg of the correction, but it would be an A wave three waves in the second leg of the correction and then five waves up. At the moment I'm counting it as WXY because this has only retraced to the golden ratio, 61.8 retracement. Whereas if you have a flat pattern, which is also a 3-3 three, three pattern, but then we get five waves up instead of three, like in the Y wave, it's three. Um, you would normally expect the pullback to at least the 78.6 FIB level, ideally the 88.7 FIB level. So let's see. I mean, can still go lower. Okay, I have no co I have no evidence that this is bottomed here, but we have an early indication. We have a bit of a reversal candle there, and it turned around directly at the golden ratio at 47.1 cent. So the expectations would now be that there's a good chance it moves higher in a Y wave. Obviously, if it takes out today's low, it can still test the 78.6 FIB level at 46.1 four cents and if it breaks below that then it would increase probabilities of a complete breakdown directly which is still in line with the higher level assumptions of a downtrend yeah to go down lower to 30 cents and below but at the moment as long as this support is holding it could go a little higher you know? bear in mind if this is really an abc and a flat pattern it, it could even overshoot to the downside but as soon as the 78.6 fib level breaks it just emphasizes more the idea that we're going down directly. Yeah. So this is always sort of the magical support level. Um, if we're now moving higher in a wave Y, what would be target? So first of all, this is the standard Fibonacci retracement area for a wave two pullback. Between the 50% and the 78.6 retracement, we talk here about 51 cents, 52.3 or 54.1. Only above that level, something more bullish might be going on. We look at a much stronger push to the upside okay um but for now i see no reason to to assume that okay we, we deal with that when um, it starts to get more likely um in this y wave we would expect a three wave move up and what we can also do to establish targets a little bit more accurately we can take the length of the wave w go to the low of the x wave and then ideal targets here for the y wave are the 100 percent extension at 51.4 cents it's in this in the resistance area and then the 1.618 extension is 54 cents so there's a lot of lot of fib confluence up there and then where the golden ratio is sitting we've got the 1.236 extension so these are the relevant extension levels they all point into the resistance area indicating there will be strong resistance so yeah there just be watch you know watch these levels when we get into the resistance area i would expect a reaction there to head down lower in a third wave okay that's my update about xrp hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye